Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Hari Krishna. I am here to take what is immutable object and types of immutable objects. What is immutable object? This is this topic is having so much weightage in interview, especially in technical round, face to face round. This question is having very much weightage. Without this question, your interview definitely will not be completed. So, try to learn this topic thoroughly, understand thoroughly, remember practice. Let us try to see what is immutable object. Mutable opposite immutable here. Yeah? Simple. The word itself is telling the meaning. Mutable opposite is immutable. I have an object. The object data we can modify. If you can able to modify object data and the result stored in the same object, then we call it as mutable object. I have an object from one class and it is a data we unable to modify. Even if you modify and the result not storing in the same object, then we call it as immutable object. So, repeating once again, a object whose data we cannot modify after its creation, then we call it as immutable object. For example, I am taking one class. Let us say example class example e1 equal to new example I have created. Then here what happened e1 variable because of example e1 e1 variable create because of new example example object created example class object created with some reference 10 10. Then inside this object x variable y variable assume in this class example there are two variables x and y. Uh, now here value 0, 0 default values replace with values 10 and 20 coming assigned values HU. Then now 10, 10 stored pointing to it. Then E1 is a variable and this is a object. Now in further next lines I am calling E1 dot x equal to 5, E1 dot y equal to 6. Then what happened? Now the value 10 replace with 5, the value 20 replace with 6. Uh, try to answer, whenever I am trying to modify object data, the data is going on storing in the same memory, then this object is called, what object? Mutable object, mutable object. If you are not allowing to modify, no, values 5 and 6 not going, not storing, then it is called immutable object, immutable object. So, let us try to recollect what is immutable object and what is immutable object. A object that we created stored some values, further we are allowed to modify values and store the result in the same object, then it is called mutable object. Uh, now we are not allowed to modify the data, uh, and then that is called what? Immutable object. Okay, this is the basic idea. Now let us try to understand from string point of view, from string point of view, uh, string class, string object, string class object is also immutable object. What is the meaning of string class is immutable? Okay, let us try to see now. Uh, now I have a class called string and we have a class called wrapper classes. We have wrapper classes. What are the wrapper classes? Byte. Uh, short, integer, long, float, double, character, boolean. These eight classes are called wrapper classes. And also from java.io package, we have a class called file. We have a class called file. Like this, there are so many classes. I want to take only these three set of classes. String, wrapper classes, file class. All these are predefined classes given by Sun Microsystem by default Sun given them as immutable object classes. Immutable object classes. Can you please apply this point on these classes? What are the meaning of it? I created one string class object and now I am trying to change the data of the string object. Allowed to change or not allowed? Not allowed. That is why string class is called immutable. Wrapper classes, any of these 8 class objects you create and try to modify its data, allowed or not allowed, not allowed, that is why it is called immutable object. File class object also you create and try to change its data, you are not allowed to change, then it is called file class is also called immutable object. So, now what is a immutable object and can you tell me some predefined immutable object classes? A a object whose data we cannot modify, then it is called immutable object and there are 
three sets of predefined classes are there well known classes string wrapper classes and file class or predefined classes okay now let us try to understand what is the type of immutable objects there are two types of immutable objects are there first i want to take string uh, listen string s1 equal to i have written double quotes hk i have taken then when you write string s1 equal to double quote hk what happens s1 variable is created string class object is created reference assume 10 10 what i am doing now i am taking the shortcut memory okay na complete memory i am not giving in this diagram shortcut memory i am giving full diagram we will see later string s1 equal to double quotes hk now i am going to write what here hk hk store now 10 10 is coming and storing in s1 pointing to it what i want to do now I wanted to add to this HK Naresh IT. I wanted to add HK Naresh IT. I wanted to store. Then in the next line, we will allow to write S1 dot concat of double quotes. I am writing Naresh IT. Okay. What is the point we learn? String is a immutable object, but I am allowed to modify string data. There is a method called concat method. I am allowed to modify. Allowed or not allowed? Hey, string is immutable, Rabbi. How can you modify? Not allowed. But what happened? Try to observe. Then what concat method will do? Concat method will go into this S1 pointing object, collect the data HK creates one new string object another new string object with reference 2020 here hk copy the characters hk and then store this naresh it at end of hk naresh it uh, then now try to answer what concat method is doing concat method is trying to modify s1 data but the result is stored in same object or another object another object then now string is a immutable object because data are not stored but allowed to modify but the result is stored in another object this is one type of immutable object allows modification but result are not stored in the same object it is a one type of immutable object then let me take another case this is case number one let me take case number two what is the case number two i am creating integer class object wrapper class object integer i o 1 equal to i o 1 equal to i am writing some value 50 integer i o 1 equal to 50 then what happen i o 1 variable is created and uh, object created uh, with data what uh, the given value 50 reference is assume 30 30 next number first object 10 10 second object 20 20 third object 30 30 30 30 stored here and now it is pointing to it further you do not have any methods in integer class to modify that value 50 what is the difference between a first case string class string class is providing methods to modify object data but result is stored in another new object another new string object whereas integer object case number two if you take a wrapper class object it is allowing us to create object but further doesn't have any methods to modify its data then we call this also one type of immutable object there are two types of immutable objects are there number one uh, first immutable object allows modification but result stored in another object example is a string class uh, case number two another immutable object uh, so doesn't allow at not at all allow the any modifications that is another type of immutable object then i will give you case number three please try to think and tell me it is comes under which case now i am taking file class file f1 equal to new file of some some file name i can write here some data dot txt then now this file object internally contains the file name okay currently this object connected to data dot txt now this file class also doesn't have any methods further to modify the file and store another new file okay here what is the object structure can you imagine f1 variable created file class object created with the file name data dot txt with reference 40 40 40 40 stored and pointing to it you cannot change this data dot txt to another file if you want to one more file name you want to store you cannot do anything in this object you must create another object file f to equal to new file of something file name uh, so now tell me uh, now case one case two nothing but wrapper classes and file class will not allow not allow modifications not allow modifications string class 
yellow modifications and stores result in stores result in another new object i hope you understand clearly uh, now let us try to recollect this heading what is immutable object and the types of immutable objects okay let us take summary a object whose data whose data we cannot modify is called immutable object the predefined sun microsystem given immutable objects are string wrapper classes and file class these three are immutable objects okay and then next there are two types of immutable objects are there number 1 uh, it will it will allow modifications but the result is stored in another new object okay uh, here it is a string object uh, this is string object 1 it is also string object 2 uh, uh, now it is a integer object it is a file object uh, first uh, first immutable object is what uh, it will allow modifications but result stored in another new object it doesn't uh, modify anything in the first object another immutable objects are what it it will not at all allow modifications once you store a data that is final if you want another new data you have to create another new object with a new keyword yourself okay so this is the story about immutable object now i will ask a question with this knowledge try to think and tell me in jdbc you have connection statement prepared statement callable statement result set these objects are mutable or immutable think go go to your advance our notes and check these three objects are mutable or immutable simple calculation you have to do what is that data once you create object connection object you created connecting to one database then can i use the same connection object connecting to another database or i should create new connection object i created a statement object uh, now for example take prepared statement prepared statement object contain one query insert or select one query now in the same prepared statement object can you change to another query possible or not possible or check result set object you run a select query and the result set contain some results the same result set object can you modify to store the new results or not check okay then confirm you yourself these jdbc objects jdbc api objects are mutable or immutable you check this is java se based i mean uh, our core java based immutable objects and those are immutable or mutable or advanced or based object you check not only them now go to servlet api in servlet you have http servlet request it contains data any day any object that contains data will comes under mutable and immutable okay and now go to uh, servlet api http servlet request is there http servlet response is there http session is there these objects are mutable or immutable try to think you try to analyze and try to think and uh, try to share this knowledge to your friends also right and then next in the next video uh, we are going to discuss about can we create our own custom immutable object or not if i able to create how can we create what is the procedure to create custom immutable object we will create a uh, okay if i able to create custom immutable object can i create two types of custom immutable objects or not if i able to create what is the procedure these points we are going to learn in next video okay na i hope you enjoy this video try to remember all these points and enjoy okay right so for more videos updates follow naresh it channel okay thank you